And we're back in my garage now. Oh yeah, there's not a whole lot of room in here. That's all right. But uh, I left the plastic on, left all this on so I could shoot this today. That's the plan. And then I have all these parts that need some paint. Just left them on the table. And then I also have my inner fenders that need some paint. I got these two. So uh, needless to say, I got plenty of painting to do. My plan is, hopefully, this is the plan. We all know how plans go. I would like to get the air deflectors, the radiator support, the firewall, and my two inner fenders. That's, that's the goal for today. I don't know if we're going to reach it or not. We'll see. It all depends. Uh, my daughter has a fever again, so she's upstairs. Excuse me, she's upstairs trying to get some rest. So we're gonna, um, we normally do, like I said a little bit ago, is so we usually do a game night or a movie night tonight. I don't think that's gonna happen because uh, she's just not feeling well. And uh, we don't do it if we're not all involved because then she feels left out and I don't wanna do that to her. So, um, still gonna go and, you know, we'll have dinner and everything, just ate lunch with everybody. But uh, anyway, it's time to get back to work. This is, uh, I'm a little wore out, but you know, if it's gonna get done, it's gonna get done. I work uh, 50 plus hour weeks, and uh, I don't miss dance recitals, I don't miss soccer games, I don't miss anything. Um, I don't watch a whole lot of TV, I'll tell you that. Um, you know, people ask me if I've seen this show or that show, and now I'm usually either out in the garage or doing something with the family, and so that's just kind of yeah. We orange peeled the crap out of it. Can you guys see that? So, so you can see it there. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, I messed around a little bit on a piece of paper and I don't think I messed around enough. I'm guessing I didn't reduce it enough. That's my guess. So I have some more left in my thing. I'm gonna add, uh, pour back in the thing, add some reducer, mix it up again, and uh, and uh, do some experimenting, see if I can figure it out, because it just doesn't seem to be coming out good. And I don't know enough to really know what's going on. I do know that I got more work ahead of me on those now, which is uh, fantastic. But uh, we're gonna let that cure, just let it go, and. Uh, if I gotta sand it back down, I gotta sand it back down and do it again. Um, I may go ahead and uh, spray base coat and clear coat on my inner fenders because I've messed with that stuff before. I feel a little more comfortable spraying that out. So I might do that. Anyway, a little frustrated, but uh, you know, not too frustrated. Not frustrated enough to quit. So. That's good news, but uh, anyway, I'm going to mess with this stuff some more, figure out what it was. I switched to a larger tip on my gun. I had a bigger tip in this gun than I did in my other gun. Um, that seemed to help. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But uh, anyway, I'm going to close up the garage. I'm just going to let that sit outside. wanted to back it up far enough to get it in the sun, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So could just it's over 70 degrees outside, so should be fine. But uh, anyway... I don't know if orange peel cures out after it cures or not. I don't really know, but uh, I'm going to let it sit and then I'll hit it with some, I guess, some thousand grit wet sand next weekend. Try that or one of these evenings. Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. But, uh, oh well, that's what happens. So uh, I'm going to mess around with this some. I got a couple boxes to, to kind of spray and. I'm going to try that, see if it's just too dry coming out or, or what's going on. But uh, anyway, I did that before, but it didn't, obviously I didn't mess around with it enough. So I'll see what I can do and uh, bring you guys back. All right, I screwed around on a couple boxes. I'm kind of wondering if I was moving the gun too fast. I don't know if that can cause it. So I got one of my air deflectors up here. Um... These are pretty easy for me to sand back down if I have to. So I'm gonna see if I move the gun a lot slower, if that'll make a difference. That's just kind of seeming what, what was going on. I think I was moving the gun too fast, which is entirely possible. 
because sometimes I have the patience of a goldfish. So I'm gonna move this out of the way, get the floor wet again, and uh, see what we can do. All right, I'm definitely digging the shine of this stuff, and you can see it, but look at that peel. So after screwing around a little bit more, I slowed down uh, with the gun. That seemed to help, especially like right there. You can kind of see it looks pretty good on this little, it's my finger, this little round part here. Anyway, then I know it's not ideal, but I threw a little extra reducer in it and it seemed to spray way better. So I don't think I reduced it enough. I think that's the problem. So I'm gonna pour this out into a container and then I'm gonna mix another batch up and add more reducer this time. I, I, I really don't think I reduced it enough. So I'm gonna add some more reducer this time and then pick another part that's easy to clean up if need be, probably like my other air deflector. I didn't even spray this backside. Uh, maybe I'll just turn this one around and spray the backside with something that's more reduced um, and give that a shot. So anyway, we're going to give it a shot now, see what happens. All right, I, I reduced it some more and uh, looks a little better. I mean, I can see me in it. Still looks like it has some orange peel. I don't, I don't know if that's what I'm seeing or not, but right here looks Looks pretty good. Go up here, it looks uh, bad. So I'm really not sure if it's just my gun control or what. But I mean, if you look right here, I'm pretty sure I was putting enough material on it's running off. So I don't know. Yeah, look at it. I got drips everywhere right now, so. And it's running like crazy so I was putting plenty of material on so I don't know back to the drawing board I'm starting to get uh, a little too frustrated with it so I think it's uh, I'm about not too far away from calling it quits for today I'm tired maybe that's part of it but uh, not gonna give up quite yet I don't know. I'm gonna do some more research and uh, figure out from there, but uh, I hate wasting material. And that's what I'm doing right now, it kind of feels like. So I can't afford to waste <laughs> that much material. So anyway, yeah, I really made a mess out of that one. Cause I thought I wasn't getting enough paint on it. I thought that's why it was orange peeling. So I don't know. Any tips, truly appreciate it. Um, I think I might clean up my guns and I don't know what, find something to do out here. But uh, yeah, should have just left the flat black primer on it. That looked pretty good. But you know, wanted to make it shiny. So maybe I'll go to uh, base coat, clear coat. I kind of went this route because I thought it'd be a little cheaper in the long run, but it doesn't look like it if I'm going to be spending days sanding this crap off. So I have some black base coat and I have some clear coat. I think we'll, uh, I think we might switch back to this because I really made a mess out of this one. But uh, you know, you got to learn, and I'm learning a lot. There's a lot to learn with this paint stuff, and you know, I honestly haven't even scratched the surface yet. So. I'm going to clean this up, clean my mess up out here, wash the garage out. Maybe I'll spend an hour or two cleaning up this uh, pig style workbench I have and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to open up the door, get some fresh air in here and uh, figure it out. But if I do anything else, I'll let you guys know. If not, I hope you guys have a good work week. It's Sunday. It's, uh, see, what time is it? 4.05. So, you know, what can you do? Lots to learn. Uh, seems like I have a paint fail every weekend, so going right along with it, but that's all right. Um, I think part of pain is learning how to fix up your screw ups. It seems to be the, the learning curve I'm running under it right now, but uh, I gotta get this thing picked up so it quits dripping on my floor, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a good week, have a good Monday. Um, if I get out to do a couple power hours, I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll put a video up. If not, uh, 
Thanks again for the subscriptions, the comments, the likes. I truly appreciate it all. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. All right, a little bonus footage. Got everything uh, back inside the garage, inside the cab. Setting it up for the work week. Um, to make myself feel better, I assembled something. Put my, uh, it's just a few bolts. So I chased all the threads that these go into. You know, I thought about uh, painting these but they're stainless, they're not polished. They're just natural stainless. They look pretty damn good the way they are. I'm not gonna mess with those. I think even with the gloss paint, those will look good on here since they'll all be the exact same color. Anyway, this stuff all fit up real nice. Um, I chased the, these threads, I chased some threads on the bottom. Uh, those are stainless as well. They actually, where I get those is pretty, I mean it's, I mean, we're talking just a few pennies more for each bolt to go with stainless, so I go with stainless. Anyway, um, this stuff, maybe, I know I'm impatient, but this stuff is actually looking a little better. I mean, I couldn't see my reflection hardly at all. I know it's not perfect, but it's looking a heck of a lot better than it was earlier. So maybe I just need to chill out and wait. I don't know. Uh, you know, my confidence is down a little bit, but I'm not, I don't give up, so I'll figure it out. But uh, I'm hoping maybe the firewall, it's looking better too. I don't know if you guys can tell from what it looked like earlier, but it's still not smooth. But before I couldn't see facial features before, it just looked like blobs, so. I'm hoping maybe it'll clean out and then maybe I could just color sand it a little bit and it'll be good. I don't know, I don't know enough about this stuff, I am learning. And learning a lot so um, that was frustrated earlier feeling a lot better now but uh, I'm hoping that that goes good I really wanted to bolt this stuff up before next weekend but it's not gonna happen that's okay no big deal I'm still on on schedule for my new uh, my new deadline so just isn't gonna happen uh, in February not enough time not enough money but that's okay it was a good deadline I worked my butt off to get to as close as I could so I still have some more butt to work off. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I feel much better now. Chilled out a little bit, cleaned up, cleaned up my uh, workbench a lot. Um, these are just looking so smooth compared to the way they looked before. You know, I dig the flat black primer, but everybody does flat black. I don't really want flat black. I don't know. Maybe that's what I should do, but. I just, I, I kind of like gloss black just because everybody else has flat black. We'll see. I may change my mind after all. So if it, uh, if this stuff doesn't work out good, I may sand it down and hit it with a flat black epoxy primer again and just call it good for right now until I tear it down to uh, rebuild it to paint the whole exterior. But uh, anyway, I don't know. We'll see. So you guys all take it easy. Have a good week. I'm going to go inside and... Uh, take a shower, eat dinner, and then uh, I don't know what we're doing after that, but uh, you guys all have a good one. We'll talk to you guys uh, later on this week, and uh, be good.